Uh, thank you, Premier. Uh, as the Premier indicated, tragically, last night, shortly before uh, 6 p.m., uh, we had reports of a truck uh, that had been blown over uh, by a wind event uh, at the fire ground down near Gingelic, uh, near the Victorian border. Uh, as it turns out, uh, not only did a truck uh, get blown over, uh, but another command vehicle in the same extraordinary weather event was also blown over. Tragically, on that truck, uh, one of our firefighters, uh, a much loved and respected local firefighter uh, from down near the Holbrook Coal Can area in the southern border team, uh, tragically lost his life. Uh, two other uh, uh, colleagues on that fire truck, uh, one, uh, the driver, was taken to hospital uh, with some injuries but was released uh, later last night. Uh, but unfortunately, a colleague uh, on that truck has been transported uh, to Melbourne uh, and is in the, um, uh, the Prince Alfred Hospital uh, in Melbourne uh, with serious injuries, uh, including burn injuries. On that same fire ground, through the same weather event, we also saw another vehicle uh, and a couple of firefighters uh, enveloped by flames uh, as this as this weather event moved through the fire ground. Uh, those two firefighters uh, suffered uh, burns to their face and their airways. Uh, we understand that at least one of them uh, was sedated and intubated uh, and both were flown uh, for medical treatment uh, to Sydney to Concord Hospital. The group officer that was in the command vehicle, another volunteer, um, uh, were, suffered some injuries. Uh, there was some bruising, um, uh, some, some muscle damage uh, and minor injuries like that, uh, but was released last night from hospital as well. The firefighter that lost his life uh, was Samuel McPaul. Sam McPaul, uh, a young man, uh, 28 years of age, um, uh, well respected uh, and admired uh, throughout the local community and in his local brigade. Uh, he leaves behind, tragically, um, um, a beautiful wife, uh, Megan, uh, who is pregnant uh, with their with their first child uh, that's due on the 4th of May. The, um, as you would expect, uh, the family is um, grieving and it's been a very difficult night and I would be fair to say, I don't even think the comprehension has set in yet at the enormity of the, of the tragedy and the loss. Uh, Megan and uh, Sam have been married now for, for nearly 18 months. Um, they were married uh, only, only in um, April of 2018. So we've got a completely devastated family. We've got a devastated uh, local community uh, at what has just been an extraordinary loss. The local crews that we were able to catch up with in the field at the accident scene described what they experienced as truly horrific. Uh, they described it as an extraordinary wind event, um, describing it as a fire tornado or a collapse they even believe might have been a collapse uh, of, a, of a pyroconvective column that had formed above the main fire front. That's resulted in, in cyclonic type winds that has moved across the fire ground uh, and has literally lifted up a, a 10 or 12 tonne fire truck uh, and flipped it onto its roof, uh, trapping um, uh, the people inside and tragically uh, killing Sam uh, in the process. Uh, as I say, that same weather event has moved through the fire ground, um, posing all sorts of dangers and risk uh, to other firefighters, including injuries to the two that have been transported to Sydney, and of course the commander uh, whose vehicle was also uh, flipped over in the, uh, in the extraordinary wind event. That fire is still not contained, uh, and firefighters are continuing to work right throughout the night to bring that fire under control. I have to pay my uh, respects and admiration uh, to Sam's uh, fellow crew um, um, and those that stayed behind. Uh, they weren't leaving Sam there until until police uh, and, uh, of course, the local Tumbarumba Fire and Rescue crew, who so professionally um, 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 uh, and with respect and dignity uh, worked with police to ensure Sam got out of the, uh, the vehicle wreckage uh, and, and transported away from that fire scene, uh, and all the firefighters and the emergency services personnel uh, stood down from that, from that accident location. The vehicle uh, is being retrieved uh, this morning from the fire ground, uh, and will be under, uh, undergoing the routine assessments uh, as would be expected. So absolutely, uh, our thoughts and prayers and our hearts are breaking uh, for Sam's family, uh, for his colleagues uh, in the, in the Colcan and Holbrook region and the entire southern border team, uh, but right across the firefighting 
uh, an emergency services family. Uh, to lose one of our own uh, in such extraordinary circumstances uh, is tragic uh, and the tragic is just an understatement.